Hey yo, everybody, it's Johnny Five Alive here, and I am joined with Zelixor. Hey yo. And Temtem on early access has just dropped, and we're gonna get on in here and see what it's all about. So, uh, yeah. we did try the stress test over the last week, and that didn't go so well. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell the difference no. between male and female. No, they, they, I don't know. It's uh, early access, uh, yeah. Early access. Creation. Yeah. I'm in Q, so. Yeah, so that's, that's an interesting topic right there is that this game they decided to go with an MMO and yeah. that could cause some issues because why not go the route of like Guild Wars you know how like everybody's in town just chilling out mm -hmm. and then from there you you go out into the world with your party or people that way yeah. it's more like matchmaking based rather than MMO mm -hmm. because now we're suffering like queue times and I mean I guess Guild Wars would have had queue times at launch but the biggest thing that we noticed in the stress test we we ought to play literally like five minutes out of three hours because it was just yeah. constantly disconnecting. So hopefully they got that I mean, patched out now. They also cut off the uh, stress test like was an hour before or one and a half hours before. Right. I'm not a fan of any of these hairstyles. <laughs> How do you scroll down on the hairstyles on controller? Are you playing with controller? I figured why not? Seems like a yeah. very controller friendly <clears throat> game. Yeah. Probably. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to go with this man bun. I don't know why, but it's, it's not very good options here. <laughs> a man bun and blue hair? Sure. Sure. I'm uh, 1463. You made your character already? No, no. I'm still in, like, oh. eager to the queue. You go to the queue before you can even start new game? Yeah. So I basically bypassed the queue by being literally the first person to launch the game. Probably, yeah. Interesting. And what's your Q? What? Three thousand? No, uh, one four six three. Oh man. <laughs> well, it was three. It was three thousand four hundred eighty-four. So like uh, nine minutes ago. These outfits are hilarious. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna rock the underwear. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Tidy whities let's go. They spelled Q like Q U E U E Q Q E. -E. I think that's how you're supposed to spell it. Q U E. -E? Yeah, really? Q U E U E. That's the proper really? way. Q U E That's is an, a, Q U E is an abbreviation. Whoops. No. No. Q. It's forcing me to enter my Q. name, and I, I. uh... What? Oh, uppercase letters can only be Johnny Five Alive. Uh, choose your pronoun. They, them, <laughs> he, she. <laughs> what about like Zer and all that? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh. I didn't get to pick my backpack here. Let's see here. Oh, the scroll on the back is kind of cool. Yeah, I'm going with the scroll. Scroll What's it up. Your pronoun? <laughs> <laughs> the pronoun is what? I mean, how is that going to be a thing? Is it like... Well, I guess when someone comes up to you, they're like, oh, he is the best trainer of them all. Or instead, they oh, go, okay. they yeah. are the best trainer of them all. Yeah, okay. Maybe, yeah, okay. In, in NPC dialogue. Right. But no one... Yeah, okay. And also because there's no, like, uh, clues on their character. Like you wouldn't know <laughs> it's a guy or a girl. <laughs> or yeah. Alright, I think uh I don't know what the tiny one is such a good choice to look so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, I I could go tiny whiteies, but I still want shoes. No, you can't have shoes. And you no. can't you can't wear like the the rolled up shorts. Like what are we from the sixties here? <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, and what's with these baggy pants? They got like oh, bu buttons that strap on. I don't know. The tiny whiteies doesn't seem like a bad option when you look at the rest. But... <laughs> I, I want my character to be like, you know, stand out from the rest and not just like some brown haired schmuck like me in real life. <laughs> Should I do this really girly run? Do whatever you want. You gotta stand out, man. You're my sidekick. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, I just got a head rush laughing so hard. Since when? <laughs> I'll be oh, your sidekick in Savage Planet. I, I got Zelda to buy this game. He, he wasn't <clears throat> sure. And Zell's getting me to get Savage Planet. So that's probably going to be another game we play next week. I don't know what to do for pants, man. I've never sp spent so long on character creation. <laughs> and there's no options. Uh, you never spent so long in real life yep. getting pants. <laughs> that's right. I go, yeah, these look good. That's God. fine. Oh, this hair. All right, I'm going with these. Screw it. Well... <laughs> Right? <laughs> now the scroll doesn't match anything. This is so stupid. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll go with the black mat. 
<laughs> oh, it's like a. Oh, I see. It's like a yoga mat. I'm like a yoga master. God. We only drink chai latte with soy milk. <laughs> <laughs> it's like worms on your head. What the hell? I can't get my color palette down. I just go with the most horrible hairstyle. Mine's not that great either. Uh, no, this is like really horrible. <laughs> All right, I guess that that'll do. I don't know what I am. I'm done. What's the voice? Let's listen. <laughs> they're, they're both really young. Why can't you be naked? That's a bit creepy. Whatever. Why can you be naked? Yeah. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Like, I should run around in underpants, but I think maybe that's inappropriate. Maybe. Get pulled from YouTube. <laughs> They're so sensitive these days. How come I can't finish? Where's the finish button? Finish. Enter. Maybe the mouse will work? Huh. Well, I'm stuck on character creation. What's my animation? What's X for animation? I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, uh, the same. Oh. There's this oh, it's just like frozen. So I just gotta chill, chill and wait. Yeah, I think I think it's trying to ver well. verify my name. I just go with this stupid mallet. I don't know. <laughs> Still deciding on hair. Yeah, I yeah, went back I, and said, I went no, with I a man really, <laughs> I really can't go with this. <laughs> I just, all right, let's go with this. I, I mean, I'm sure know. you could ch change it later, right? I'd hope. All right, <clears throat> I'm into the game. Oh, uh, wow. Johnny Five Alive, still sleepy. Come on, wakey, wakey. <laughs> Eggs and bakey. It's about time. <laughs> Good morning, it's Johnny. Such, it's, if, you don't, if you don't see it, it's not so weird. <laughs> oh, see it? Sorry. No, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't experience it, so it's really <laughs> weird for me. You're just saying wakey, wakey. <laughs> Eggs and bakey. Okay, anyway. No, she did, she did. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better wake up fast. They're all waiting for you. Uh, who? Haha, uh -huh, sleepyhead. You don't remember what day it is? Today, it's oh, it's my apprentice eve. Haha, uh -huh, exactly, my dear. Congratulations. Oh, my pants suck. I should have gone with the underpants. I hate these oh, pants. Oh, come on, man. I'm restarting. I'm going right back to the beginning of the oh, queue. Oh, I'm in. Yep. See, this is it. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, server lag. We're experiencing server. I cannot move. Why, why make this an MMO? It doesn't need to be an MMO. If 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 Zell wants to play with me and we want to go do co-op, I should just be able to invite him to my private game. You know, and but if isn't we, there if a we, reason for these people to be there? Well, the the reason was they wanted you to like go find other trainers and battle them and have like two v twos and stuff, right? But the problem with that is. They're all around the world constantly, and I'm just sitting here with server lag. So unless they fix the server lag, there's there's not much of a game to be played anyways. But that's my whole point is like, if we want to find other people to play against, we're going to seek them out when we're ready to battle them. Like right at the beginning of the game, we don't want to battle anyone. We just want to get to know the basics of the game. We need our first Temtem before we can even battle anyone. So it's it should be later that you start lobbying and matchmaking and all that stuff, right? It's, so it's we're just, stuck on the same screen now, like after the talking yeah you're sitting stuck. in front of the girl yeah okay i have to say yeah yeah the getting into the game took 10 minutes <clears> and now we're sitting here and it's another 10 minutes and then we're probably gonna get our first tab 10 and the battle's gonna be like 50 minutes and that's that's where the um i mean it's early access right i get it if the the high concept of this game is to get it so that there's people running around everywhere constantly and there's no server lag at all ever then you're dealing with a pretty cool concept right just trainers running around everywhere like emoting each other and say let's battle and challenge each other to duels and stuff like remember the good old warcraft days you'd be standing yeah. outside of like you know uh, Goldshire or something or Iron Forge yeah, and people come up to you drop a dual flag and you're like let's go and everyone gathers yeah. around they're watching and you know <clears throat> those are some fun moments in video game history if they yeah. could recreate that and simulate that here by turning this into an MMO essentially what you have is I guess like the high concept of Pokemon the actual show is like the characters are running around and there's uh, trainers everywhere right uh, I thought you only played roleplay service in Warcraft <laughs> the quintessential device every tamer should have the Tempedia uh, records crucial info in the Temtem seen and caught. Yours is a present from Anna. Aina? How do you say it? Aina? Anal. Anal? <laughs> here, here is your apprentice new <laughs> present. Oh. It's a, a Tempedia. It's a mattress. Oh. Uh, your apprentice. Uh, you're an apprentice now. Soon you'll be heading to the ac academia. So figure you'll need a good Tempedia. Tempedia. Mm hmm. 
yes, list of all the Temtem I capture, the store's info, it stores info about them. Professor Constantinos sh showed us how to use it. <laughs> and now you have your own as well. Uh, hurry up, they're all waiting for you. Well, so first thing I notice is there's no jump. That sucks. I hate games that don't jump. I mean, jump has been around since Mario. Come on, you can't devolve in games. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> I'm uh, stuck on leaving the house. Oh, I just left the house Probably. too. Just to this, this, load is, in this. this is gonna be the most this. riveting let's play ever. Ah, you know, people, you know, they hear us talk. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're, we're, gonna, so we're gonna trim this down, I guess. I have to now. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Why? Don't you wanna hear us just, you know. Ramble at a black screen? Rambling, yeah. <laughs> it's fun. I think it's loading in all those 3,494 people that were before me. Yeah. It's, that's a little insane. I mean, there's no way that they can have it as a true MMO because the the the, the town space is too small for it. Like, think about a Pokemon town. I bet you if there were 7,000 yeah. people, right? <laughs> we also haven't seen anything, huh? I mean, I saw the begin, beginning town in the, the, what's it called? The yeah. stress test. But yeah, in, in any town, like World of Warcraft does it, you can only have a certain amount of people. I think like the server population is very limited, right? To like 10,000 people most, and that's like World of Warcraft. It's a huge... Yeah, that's huge. So what Temtem were there? Um, one, one thing... Oh, here we oh. go. There we go, we're in sync. Zadar, home sweet home. It's a nice looking game. It's very Hello. like pastel-y. It's Johnny Five Alive! Congrats! Yeah! Happy Apprentice Eve! Oh my, all of Zadar is here. Oh, there's like 10 people. All the town is here. Congratulations, Johnny Five Alive. We know this is a big day for you, but we're also going to miss you. Aw, uh, we, we got a little pocket money for, from the trip to the academia. It's not much, but we've chipped in. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much, my neighbors. But Johnny Five Alive, where's your friend Max? Frickin' Max. Nobody likes Max. Uh, no, so, right? She's <laughs> so bitchy. I don't know. How do, how do you know that? <laughs> hey, Johnny Five Alive, uh, do you know it's Apprentice Eve too? Hello, Max. So we're, we're waiting for Professor Constantinos. Hey, kids, are you ready? Ah, uh, Professor. Uh, please take care of Johnny Five Alive. Uh, children, they grow fast, and one day they're gone. Uh, don't worry, my dear. Uh, I'll drop Johnny Five off and Max off at the academia on my way to the university. <clears throat> cool. Can we go with you? I think he just said that. Hey, you're, you're still a little bit too young to come with me to the university, Max. But who knows? Perhaps one day, if you... Persevere. Is Johnny Five Alive isn't that good at handling Temtem. Yeah, That's you okay. See? Don't worry. You can always stay here and take care of Anna, right? <laughs> huh? Um. Oh. Uh, Johnny Five Alive, come with me. We'll drop by the lab and get a couple of things, and then we'll be on our way. Oh. Take care. I love you. Uh, I know you'll do great. Oh, thanks, oh. Mom. Come on, kids. Let's go. It's like exactly like Pokemon. I made hey, the mistake of let's go to the walking professor's up. House. To up to a door and now it's like trying to load me in i oh i just did the same thing uh yeah. the I, first I thought, one on the right oh i thought that's the room they ran into no they go further down they disappeared like right as they got to that house yeah it's a video game okay i'm in it's a video game <laughs> thanks thanks <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the interior of this house is pretty badass Apparently, you get your own houses, you get to decorate them and stuff. That's pretty exciting. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So, I went for the green one, like the um, kind of armored one. Yeah, see, that's the thing. It says it has weaknesses and pros, and then I tried looking at the Tempedia or whatever, and it didn't say in there, like, what their weaknesses were. So, like, I, I think like, I found a, what, a, a Wikipedia a, on the a side. Yeah, yeah, I know, but a, why, is it not, why is it not built into the game? Like, what is that? Maybe. Um, I mean, we've seen like 10 minutes. Yeah, maybe there's like another tool you need or something, but you think it would be there in the Tempedia or whatever. Because, yeah, I ended up getting my Mystic, and I was like, what was this strong against again? And I, I completely forgot, and then, yeah, it's like... No. But usually, like, I go with, like, the Brawly melee guys uh, in games, so we'll see. Um, but the, the Mystic looks so cool with all these rocks around it, and then I was like, oh, I want that one, because it's, like, it's holding up all these rocks. But then um, you, you get it, and all the rocks disappear. <laughs> It's like, <laughs> oh, oh. Here, send you a link. Oh, let's see this. It's oh. attack stronger. Ah, oh, oh. disconnected. Come on. What is this, a stress test? Reconnect, let's go. Are you One recording moment, again? Please. 
I'm still recording. Oh my god. Your place in queue is at 10,000. Yeah. So what do you do? 10, sit, at, sit, sit at the black screen or... So that just... 971. 10,000 people just bought this game for $40. So that's $400,000, right? That's good money. Yeah, they've already made half a million off their early access. Yeah. And that's just and based then, off the queue uh, of what's who's in line, not not who's in. Yeah, and then 10,000 who were actually smart, and they just stopped playing it and, and went walked to do away. something else. Yeah. And we're about <laughs> to be one more. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. All right, well, there's our uh, our first impressions of Temtem, yeah. everyone. Early access, you might want to hold off, but check back in on the channel. Be sure to subscribe and all that because uh, we'll, when when we get this game working, we're going to be covering it here on yeah. Channel 5 no, Gaming. It's, it's not to shit on the game. It's just no, no, not, no, really absolutely not optimal at the moment. And that's to be expected. <laughs> and, you know, there's a lot of games that suffer from this stuff. It, it's, it's, it's an MMO uh, expectation at this point so let's go straight it's to that. johnny five alive congrats it's apprentice eve so we went through all this already okay well you know what i'm just gonna continue to record and maybe i can just like yeah. cut all the actual gameplay together oh. uh, no probably just the gameplay bits i'm just eating some cake when i'm back all right so where's professor's house um all the way to the right on the beach is it showing the map so uh... no but go all the way to the beach and talk to that lady that's there. Uh, now where's that thingy? Hey, Johnny, I'm so sorry I couldn't attend your big send-off, kid. No problem. Uh, it's just that I've been looking for this pendant since early morning. I can't find it. I swear, if your mom finds out I've lost it, I'll never hear the end of it. Uh, where did you last see it? I was just here by the sea, and, well, it's very warm, so I went for a swim in the, uh, Solaro River. I must have lost it then. It's, it's pretty strong. Maybe I could have dragged it, uh... If it went to the bottom, there's no hope of finding it. I'm looking up and down the beach, but it uh, could be on the other side. Uh, it could be anywhere. I'll find it for you. Thank you. I'll owe you big time if you do. I'll keep looking around the beach just in case. So I gotta go look in the water, but we can't swim. So that's... I'm not gonna find this pendant. Did you find it? No, but uh, I thought I might as well accept it. Pro professor's lab. Here we go. It's time to choose our Temtem. Hey, oh, wow. Johnny Five Alive, come here. Very well, kids. As you know, this Apprentice Eve, meaning you have already learned the basic theories about Temtem. Now, you're ready to handle your first Temtem. See those glass jars? Each contain different Temtem from around the archipelago. Hey, Deech, do you have any digital? Oh. Digital Temtem are very recent invention, my young friend. Uh, they are very seldom found. Ha! I have one! Where did you get that? Oh. It doesn't matter, Johnny Five Alive, from the fanciest to the humblest of Temtem. It is the Temtem trainer that makes all the difference. And since Max already has a Temtem, let's get you one too. Take your pick. Why does Johnny Five Alive get to choose on an I down? Quiet. <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> I like how you Silence. Silence. Silence, you wretch. <laughs> <laughs> you wretch. Go ahead, Johnny Five Alive. See which one you like best. Take your time. The first Temtem is always an important moment for every tamer. Uh, spoiled little brat already has a digital Temtem, so. Yeah, right. That's why I was like, uh, a bit bitchy. But, um, <laughs> I was gonna go for the one on the left. Oh. The green one? You? Yeah. The crystal Temtem is a strong against electric and mental, but weak against fire and earth. I caught this one in the ashen plains of Tukma, near the Amethyst Barons. It does look kind of nice. It's a little tanky guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's a crystal Temtem. So, do you want this Temtem? No, but we're going to check them all out. Oh. Gotta check them all. Gotta check them all. <laughs> That's amazing. It's a melee Temtem, a strong against earth and crystal, but weak against mental. Uh, I won it at a pub brawl once in Lockburg. <laughs> Any days. Uh, no. And let's just check out this one. That's a hoochick. <laughs> hoochick mama. <laughs> a mental tempted. It is a strong against neutral and melee. But weak against crystal. I brought it from uh, my... I bought it from my Alma mater in Properton College. No. I like the angry little face on that. And I like, I like her bed hair. She's like scraggly and funky looking. Um, I'm not a fan of monkeys, to be honest. Well, hmm. like in what way? Uh, in every way, they just <laughs> they're <laughs> they're turd slinging maniacs. They're dirty. Um, <laughs> they're like a copy of us. I don't care. I don't like us either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, it's just um, yeah, I'm not. 
big brainy baboon. I thought you went with the one on the right last time. I did. Uh, looking, I mean, you got like a little rhino. Although, like, I mean, I didn't pick anything yet. So I, I think the little chimpanzee could evolve into like a really badass looking like gorilla or something. You never know, right? Um, mm. But yeah, I'm just not the biggest fan of like the the, the monkey animal. Um, the rhino's kind of <laughs> cute. I'm just gonna go with the mystic. Screw it. Ah. Uh, I don't like any of them. <laughs> the Mystic's wow. the, the best of the worst. Wow. Let's go with that. That's a hoot chick. <laughs> I love what it's called. <laughs> hoot chick. Hoot chick mama. All right. Are you gonna name? Are you gonna rename it? Nah. Well, should I? It's <laughs> soft touch. <laughs> hoot chick soft touch. Uh, no, I'm just gonna leave it. It's so frazzly looking. I need to name it like fr oh. frizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Hit, uh, it's oh, time to get yeah. a move on, kids. Hit left trigger and then go to the right mm -hmm. on your pad and then go to customize. Customize. Oh, so I can... Oh, good. I can get rid of these pants. Thank God. Equip. Equip <laughs> my underwear. All right, good. All right, we're rocking, rocking up the tidy whities <laughs> Got my tidy whities and my hoot chick. Uh, Johnny Five Alive, the teacher's pet. You think you're better than me, don't you? Now, and now you have your brand new Tim Tim, huh? Let's see if you, what you can do with it. Oh, he's gonna kick my ass. This is uh, the furthest I got last time. Yeah, me too. Until the game completely broke halfway. Get ready! What the heck? I got a freaking Digimon. I'm gonna kick him in the face. Go! Hoochie kick! Data burst! I lost. OP. GG. Ha! Take that, Johnny! My first victory! Hurrah! <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Freaking Max, I hate you. <laughs> oh, wow. You won, Max! That digital Temtem of yours really gave you an edge! <laughs> it's all about the tamer, not the Temtem. Didn't you say that a minute ago, Teach? <laughs> <laughs> now she's a redneck. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just trying to come up with stuff. Is it a she? I don't even know. Uh, congratulations, Max. Don't let this defeat you affect you much, Johnny. Oh, you never really stood a chance against Max's Ori. Digital Temtem, a rare and pow powerful innovation. <laughs> let me take a look at your hoochie. Just, uh... <laughs> you just have a couple bandages and some balm. <laughs> there. Oh, you'll... Uh, to level the playing field, I have something for you, Johnny. What? <laughs> what the heck is this? Mine is just stuck like get... halfway. What? What's halfway? Through the second battle. Yeah. You've got a new Temtem, -tem, a two-way. I got like a little toucan. I could just leave their names. A female toucan. Why is this not doing anything? Two-way might not look like much, but it is one of the rarest Temtem -tem I have found. Take a good care of it. I have reasons to believe there's more to it than meets the eye. What? I don't get one of those? You already have a digital Temtem, -tem, Max. <laughs> Still not fair. I love how he like gives me two toys and he's just like, no, your parents gave you a Digimon. <laughs> you don't get anything from me. <laughs> <laughs> so rich bastards. Uh, uh, Why I, is this not doing anything? I have no idea. My research suggests too I might react to uh, certain places of power, but I haven't found any on this island. That's why I'm going back to Orbury to consult with my peers. I have a, I have to catch an airship, but I'll walk you kids to the academia. Bah! We don't need a babysitter. <laughs> Fair enough. Perhaps you could travel on your own. It will be a way to prove yourselves. Oh. Very well, Johnny and Max, go on. Uh, I'll wait for you at the Brickle Damar. Uh, you two head north and meet me there. Listen up, the path is teeming with Temtem. -tem. Uh, so have a few Tem card, use them to capture wild Temtem. -tem. You got eight Tem cards. A card-like device used to capture and transport Temtem. -tem. Mm -hmm. And since they won't go down without a fight, put some bomb to heal your Temtem -tem after battle. You've got bomb. Bomb mace, uh, using a blend of denizen healing herbs. Restore 25 HP. Oh. That's good. Good luck and remember, I'll be expecting you at the Bracal de Mar. Be prudent, kids. <sighs> Look at all these people sitting. Oh no, I went back in the building. Oh. I was just stuck. You might need a re -Q. Oh, oh, come on, man. Spencer, Zenny, how do we emote these people? Checking backpack. 
What the f- It's my moats. Oh, here we go. Hello! Hello, Papa Boom! Blow you a kiss. Me? No. Oh. <laughs> I got like a diaper butt. <laughs> I mean, this I is really lame. No? What is that lame? Nothing works. Well, it's working for me. I'm like at 1 HP. 1 HP? Yeah. Are you stuck in the I battle with, uh... Yeah, I just Vax? choose target, and then it just doesn't... doesn't do anything. Sounds like you gotta restart your game. <clears throat> Uh -huh. The pristine coast uh, is in danger. Uh, is dangerous. Remember to use bomb if you're in trouble. This is not an easy tour. Pristine coast. The road to Basadama. Oh! Random encounter. Who jacket to to lie? All right. I don't know. I don't know what the. Oh my god! I'm like eighteen thousand. Thank you. Eighteen thousand. So they just oh made. Oh my god. They just made another uh, three hundred thousand dollars on the game. <laughs> breaking, the breaking hell? bank on day one and early access. Uh. Oh, reconnect. Ah, uh, twelve minutes of gameplay for fifty minutes of loading. No. This this frustrates me so much. You, you got placed Is back like... in Q, 100. <laughs> you 100? <laughs> it put me back in 100. But you had 18,000, but me at 100. I guess because you, like, hard rebooted. But the Q went fast last time, right? It was, like, 10 <sighs> minutes. Yeah. Jeez. Just allow matchmaking. Like, let me just play co-op with my friend. It's nothing, nothing worse than, uh... I mean, it's cool seeing all these people running around and stuff. Everyone's running circles in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> just like a bunch of maniacs. <laughs> they're all laying out like me. They're just running. No, they're circles. just they're trying to do the old grind, you know? Run circles. Oh, in a... yeah. Um, all right, I'm going to kick you in the face, bird. And uh, see, I don't know if they're weak against this stuff. Details. Let's see here. I should get all uh, like the frozen Tamotane wind howling over the lock. What, what does that even mean? What? <laughs> Wind howling over. Okay, so I'm gonna peck him. Oh, lag. See, that's the that's the real problem with this game is I don't want lag while I'm playing like essentially a single player game. You know? Um, yeah, and it, and why? Because it should just be an instant thing, right? When you have a battle. Right. It should be smooth. It doesn't make any has, sense at all. It has nothing to do with the server load. Right? If you would just... I don't know. It should all be player side, it. right? Yeah. So there you go. Epic battles of Temtem. <laughs> I mean, of course, it's the first day, right? Yeah. I get it. 20,000 people are trying to get back into the game. Doesn't really help. All right, maybe I get my first Temtem battle going. Everyone's running around the circle. Let's run around the forest. All Are right. you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Let's do the first Temtem right. battle. You're. Oh, the, the Tomato goes so fast. I didn't even read what I'm fighting. So, let's try <clears throat> kicking this thing in the face. And we're going to pack him. Get him. Little packer. And. Oh! Uh, my first battle animation. I was using stare. What does this even do? Defense down. Defense down. Okay, so they dropped my defense. See, I have these abilities. Let's see here, like hypnosis. But it doesn't say what it does. Okay. Uh, a brain heck developed by Herb Barian mind specialists that make the targets sleep. So I can put one to sleep and uh, Men's Santa in Corpor Sano. What? But the other <laughs> way around. Like, what does that even mean? Read it backward. Anas Europrock Ni Anas Snem. No, it doesn't make sense. <clears throat> but the other way around. It's uh, amazing you did it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put the other one to sleep because he's got the most health. I chose my target already. Oh, the lag is just awful. Okay, we're gonna use a. How much mana do we have here? 
We're gonna pack this guy. Get him. Pack him. Pack her head. Yeah. It's so not responsive. Oh no! We've killed it! Well, there's no point in putting that thing to sleep. Well, that died really fast. And yeah, what's the point of charging? Oh, I put him to sleep and just won the battle. Oh, that's good. Interesting. Oh, what? I guess I didn't win the battle. What is happening here? So I wonder if my Psy Wave will actually wake him up. Uh, I would imagine, like, the first hit he takes wakes him up, right? But there's no point in keeping it asleep anyways. Psy Wave! Okay, it damages it through the sleep and does not wake him up. That's cool. So I could sleep a target and still damage it with the uh, the the mystic or whatever, the mental. All right, we want we want our first temtem battle. Look at us. Uh, I should have tried to capture one of those. Oh, ready getting another one. I don't want a little pidgey though. <laughs> Pajana. So I'm the, only 1,235. The server lag certainly makes grinding take a while. Like... <clears throat> Let's go! Hey, but at least I got through a battle. It's... There are the hotfixes that they're saying that they're applying live. Uh, yeah, that's seem great. To be, seem to be doing something. If you go to their Twitter page, everybody, they are... communicating like wildfire. It's insane. Yeah, I mean, it's, and they're sending them out like crazy. Yeah, like every two minutes they're like, oh, another update for you. But I guess that's what happened when you get freaking 11,000 backers and like 50,000 people buy the game <laughs> day one early access. Insane. I don't know if I stress this. I mean, I remember the queues of like 10,000. You don't remember them? No, I do. Oh. So I don't understand how that not... Help? Yeah. Oh, it's probably just because they don't have enough time, right? Oh! We got an encounter with a trainer. Aha! Finally! Someone to test my skills against. Let's fight. This is exactly like Pokemon. It's insane. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Especially with the grass. You just walk through the grass. Right? And the fact that the map is like, uh, what do you call it, like, south to north and you can't rotate it, it's like all grid, mm. you know? Grid yeah. map. Oh. So, we have a Snarlax, <laughs> or something. What do you call that? A piggy? <laughs> what, what, can I check the names of them? Oh, a piggy peck and a Paharo. Piggy bag? Pe piggy peck! <laughs> It's like a pig with wings. It's amazing. Okay, we're gonna kick it. Windblade. Scratches me. Ow, that hurts. We're gonna put that piggy to sleep. Let's do hypnosis. I mean, I don't even know what the point of sleeping is because I'm just gonna end up having to wake him back up, right? Let's, uh... Because mm -hmm. uh, this one dies and now it's a 2v1 anyways. But I, I assume he's gonna miss a turn when he's asleep anyways, so it might help. Alright, we knocked out his, uh... Bamboozy. Or bamboozle. Is he still asleep? I can't tell. I don't know. Mine is stuck again. Oh, that sucks, man. 
Psywave. With a healing potion or something. Screw it, let's just go all in. I don't understand what the problem is here. Like, how difficult can it be to let the first battle just... It's scripted, right? So... The only thing you do is choose something, but you're gonna... You're not gonna make it anyway, so... Are you still stuck on the... the yeah. Introduction battle with the trainer? Yeah. The only thing is you, you, do, you choose one of two, yeah. and then... That's right. it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it seems like you got, like... It's almost like your game froze at that point, and now it's, like, corrupt. Yeah. Oh, we're about to hit level five. Tempt him up. You've earned 43 suns. What is that? You beat me. Uh, Solaro, take me. You're pretty good for a kid, Johnny. Thanks. Uh-oh. Hi, young one. Would you care for a little friendly tempt him match? Uh, don't bother the students. They're probably on their way to the academia. You're gonna make them late for class. Consider this practical lesson then. There will be times you'll be fighting two tamers at the same time. Uh, or fighting along with a friend. Like we always do. Let's see how you Fido. <coughs> oh no! Oh, weird. They got like little koalas or something. What are those? Tatiru? I'm gonna kick your Tatiru in the face. Oh, I didn't heal my Temtem between battles. Uh-oh. I might get wrecked here. Tenderness? Well, see what happens. <laughs> Try a little tenderness. Oh. Okay, we're gonna put him to sleep again. And... Windblade. Kick that tenderness. Tatiru, down! <laughs> no, I lost my hoochick. What is this? Learned a new shrill voice. A neutral technique that deafens the whole class. Okay. Does 43 damage. Holy moly. So it's probably an AoE. Uh, shoot. I'm gonna die. Can I use a potion? Actually, there's no point using bomb when it's a 1v1, right? Because this is going to hit me again and do cancel out the bomb. I just got to hail, yes. hail Mary it. Oh, uh, I don't know if I should all the four. Wait. Scratch. <gasps> Hopefully I can take him out with this last attack. No. <laughs> I like the violins. The music's nice. Hmm. Ah, uh, I think my battle's frozen. No. GG. <laughs> yeah. Alta four. Bye. Pretty much. It seems to infinite, infinitely hang when this happens. And the alt F four does fix it, but you're back in queue again. Yep. Alright, I have beaten the queue. We are back into Tem10. Now, let's see if this loads up right away. I want to read off a couple of these tweets from the uh, devs here because it's freaking amazing. So, <laughs> let me pull this up for you guys real quick. So, here we go. <laughs> this is just crazy. This, the, the, the communication is not lacking, as you guys can see, over the last few hours since the game has launched. Hotfix is live, let's see how it goes. Looks like we have some lag problems. Previous hotfix worked, but new issues appeared. Still investigating. We're restarting the server. Let's hope this fix... We fix this one and get ready for the next. Uh, while you're in queue, Scree, did you know that running Temtem can be a Luma 2? Uh, what? <laughs> we're adding a new hotfix, reducing room sizes in order to alleviate the problems we're having while investigating them. Server restart incoming. Uh, we've detected a new issue. This time it affects a long loading times during battle. We're looking on another... Uh, Expect another hot fix soon. Please be patient. We're restarting the server, uh, but we detected an issue with the hot fix. Hot fix for the hot fix coming soon. <laughs> we're, uh, we're working on fixing the problem. We had to roll back the latest hot fix, and we're trying to implement it again. 
<laughs> we we also ordered some food and the dev team has so their dev team has their mind focused on the hot fix and not being hungry we wanted the burritos but the place was closed <laughs> we're pushing the hot fix to the hot fix on the hot fix we need to go deeper server restarted let's see how it goes previous hot fix works but new problem appeared we're pushing on a new one right now we'll have to keep looking for problems oh my god and that was one minute ago so uh previous hot fix worked but a new problem appeared so i assume we just got back to the game and there's gonna be new issues but we're in so maybe we get a battle in before all hell breaks loose let's try we're running around in our underpants as normal it's 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 insanely frustrating because yeah uh, i understand it's early access and this stuff is expected especially for mmos but like i just got my first taste of a couple battles here and i'm like i want to play some tem tem so it's just me being a bratty spoiled uh oh no 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 i forgot i had a heal before going into this battle but yeah it's me just being bratty and spoiled, and it's lagging out, and I, sus I suspect this is where the server dies again. People are disappearing. Yup. Oh, well, this battle may not be winnable, or just barely winnable, because I did not heal my Temtem between the last, uh, battles. Oh, looks like they're at full health. Something happened with the server reset that, uh, healed me. Wonderful. So we're gonna take on the Teteru and uh, throw some wind blades down. Uh, but I love the graphics of the game, the art style. I mean, it's a little bit more on the pastel side that I would have liked. Feels very uh, pastel -y. I don't know how to explain it. Just the colors have this little bit of like um, desaturation to them. But, and there's like a little bit of cell shading going on. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's not true cell shading, obviously, but it's just the way that the, um, the materials pick up light and uh, it's a little bit bubbly and but I think that's fresh, you know? It's something different, it's unique, so why not? Um, so yeah, she's weaker, so we're gonna kick on him. Uh, I wanna see if this, oh, it is an AoE. I should've used that right out of the get-go. Is that a, oh, I don't think all of it abilities are available during the get-go. So what we'll actually do, whoops, is we'll actually use her Psy Wave on this guy, and then a Shrill Voice will finish off that one on the bottom but also damage the one on the top, and maybe that'll be enough just to take out their entire team. Well, depending on how much that sh that uh, Shriek does. Let's see here. Boom! Is he... Okay. I was gonna say, does he have like one HP left? All right, leveling up here. Do we get a new ability for our Hoochick? Uh, don't hold back, come at us. Uh, we've already come at you, bro. The fight's over. Well done. He'll be a great tamer one day. Tamer. I wonder if they could have used like a different name. Isn't that like the term for Pokemon tamers? So, what's down here? Is this the necklace? One revive potion. Uh, bring back knockdown Temtem revives them at 50% HP. Yeah, there's just a vibrance about it. There's a playfulness about it. A freshness, it, it just feels exciting, wondrous, and new. Oh, it's one of those uh, cocoon things from Pokemon. I don't know my Pokemon, and it's probably gonna drive a lot of people mad, but that's actually a good thing because I feel like if you're a hardcore Pokemon- oh, wait, hold on, can we catch this thing? What is this? Is that a run from battle? Let's use our Tem card on this thing. Wait, did that work? A card device used to capture and transport Tem Tem. I used it. We just want to peck him because we don't want to kill him. Let's see if we catch this. But what I was saying is, um, it's good that I don't know anything about Pokemon because someone that is a Pokemon, like, fiend, might actually kind of look at this game and be like, ah, this was not as good as the original Pokemon, or like they'll be a little bit too biased towards Pokemon. And uh, I have, I we just got a Swally, so maybe this evolves into something like a butterfly, I don't know. So uh, yeah, but I have no biased feelings, basically. I, I don't have any previous knowledge, and I won't be sitting here making comparisons like, oh, Pikachu is way better than this version of a rat. What is Pikachu? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a bunny? Who knows? But yeah, it's all new to me. I kind of know a little bit of the Pokemon, obviously, uh, just from seeing, seeing it around. It's hard to miss, but I don't know all their names and stuff. But that, I, that's why I like this, because it's, um, it's fresh. I've always loved the idea of a, a minion battle game. 
but one thing that's kind of turned me off from Pokemon is that you only had one at a time. I really like party-based RPGs. I played a lot of them in my time. All the Final Fantasies, you know, Octopath Traveler is a recent one. Um, you know, you name it, I've played it, and uh, I, I just love the strategy of multiple characters. So two is definitely better than one. I still wish there could have been three out on the board at any given time, but you never know. That might be something that they do later on and uh, add 3v3 battles and stuff. Oh, you could hop over it this way, but not back. Oh, no! It, I didn't even mean to jump over it, to be honest. Well, that's good to know. So we're looking for a necklace. I wonder if we can find that somewhere. Some lady lost her necklace. Ooh! Oh, that's someone else's Pokemon stuck. Not a Pokemon. Temtem! Ah. Oh. Hey, well, this is the longest I've been able to play since the game has launched. So already, within a few hours of this somewhat disastrous launch the the game has already making miles of improvements so the good job on them working fast staying in communication with their fans and just letting everyone know what's going on i'm sarah and i'm laura and together we are the lethal twins that's right laura I'm Sar Sarah. <laughs> that's what she's. That's what I said. No, you. I mean, I. Uh, anyway, prepare for battle, stranger. Uh, whatever. Let's fight. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, art style kind of reminds me of this game called For the King. It was an indie game RPG. Uh, a little bit more heavy on the polygons, but that was the art style. But the color palette reminds me of it for some reason. If anyone has ever played that, look at that little freaking sheep. What is that? A FOMU? It's a little foamy butt. Someone foamed on your butt? <laughs> so yeah, we can't use the shrill voice on turn one. I think what might actually be better is to divide our damage, and then we can AoE after, and maybe possibly get the kill. Wow! Yeah, we'll definitely finish him off on this next turn. Uh, music's good too. Reminds me of... Reminds me of something I can't remember the name for. Uh, what is it? I know I have a CD somewhere around here. I don't know what they did with it. Apocalyptica? Anyways. <laughs> Choose the target. Yeah, the um, server like is going to be a constant issue for the coming weeks, I would imagine. No matter what, there's always going to be little blips of server lag when in prime hours of population. Hopefully it's not a, pers uh, a consistent issue all the way into release. But we'll see, like, um, uh, we didn't get... The f oh no, that will that'll finish the FAMU. Perfect. We'll see how they do it with like the Nintendo Switch and other consoles, whether they make it like cross-platform or individual servers. Uh, but I can see this game being very, very popular when it actually comes to console. Because the majority of the player base in video games uh, belongs to console. It's more accessible, everybody has one, and yeah, so there's already like something like 50,000 plus people trying to log into early access on day one. We're going to put this turtle to sleep because he looks defensive. And yeah, so that, that's a lot of players for day one early access PC. I just couldn't imagine how many sales this game will get on Nintendo. Now, I don't know if Zell mentioned this or if it made the cut because we're going to be having to edit these videos like crazy because there's been so much downtime between the, the battles and whatnot, but... He was saying it was interesting that they were letting this go to Nintendo, or Nintendo wanted this on their platform, because it directly competes with Pokemon, I would imagine. But I wonder how well Pokemon is doing right now. I was actually curious to buy a Nintendo Switch for the Pokemon remaster. For like, because I did play the first one just a little bit, and I wanted that bit of nostalgia, but it looked insanely easy. I remember watching some videos online and it was just like, two-shot Pokemon all the way to the end of the game. And uh, the reason I play these games is for the challenge, for the difficulty. I'm, I'm that kind of <laughs> no-lifer that plays XCOM Iron Man in possible mode and actually beats it, just trying over and over and over again until I uh, prevail. I like, I like a good challenging battle. And from what I've heard, this game has some good challenge. All right, we are uh, suffering server lag again. Let me go to Twitter and see if they're saying anything. Okay, we pushed a quick server config and everything is looking good right now. If it stays like this, we will be opening more slots for the queue. Okay, so it looks like I have to do a hard reboot. Back is position 11,000.